to control M1, M2, M3. Banks innovate, create M3, M4, M4. So you have historical capitalism. And this economic study negates history. Like a physical, invariant physical system, you study it, and at the end of the day, you know it perfectly. No, no, because the system has been changing. <laughs> so, so, second, what is very important, trader detected bubble. Then everybody is playing the bubble, and the bubble sounds. <laughs> Again, you have George Soros reflexivity, which is the grand novelty of social science. You have reflexivity. So, be careful. <laughs> and extrapolating the past. Uh, so, and, and this, since people are not very fond of methodology, they, they never try to address this kind of question. Uh, and of course, given this, uh, you have a big discrepancy between theoreticians, very few of them. Now we are specialized in game theory. Say so it's so sophisticated too that we can re uh, overcome any problem. And econometrician. And then you have clearly lonely theoreticians among an ocean of conversation, studying small problems. And of course, we have a high demand. Imagine, I'm a municipality, I want to augment the price of the bus, and ask an economist to run a model. And you understand clearly that uh, he has uh, many market opportunities, and you are distracted from the main point, trying to make a contribution to theory. So first step, wonderful. What a modesty. You try to measure, to understand. But a set of techniques are not a theory. And I think this is a very important point to be detected. For example, the difference between biology and physics is that the status of theory is very different. You have techniques, and techniques are much more developed than the theory. And this is the drama of economics. So you, you, you have the impression of scientificity, whereas, in fact, you are simply developing tools in order one day to develop the theory. 